yo what's up it's your boy ambitious kid and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make hot ski ja i'm a piano right here on casting three for beginners and guys the good news is that i'm going to be giving away this hot ski ja i'm a piano fop project fall to you guys for free yes guys absolutely for free but guys before you download this hot ski ja i'm a piano project fall Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and watch this video carefully because in this video i'm going to be giving you guys the unlock password for this hot ski jam ja, piano project fall okay guys let's get right into today's hot i'm a piano tutorial Okay guys, so the first thing I started by doing to make this hot ski ja I'm a piano type beat right here on Castic 3 is that I started at my first beatbox which sounds like this. I kept it simple guys. This is my first shaker loop in here. Just like that. And this is how it looks like guys in the level section of my beatbox. This is just a normal ski ja shaker loop over here guys. Amazing amazing and guys moving on to my next instrument i have my strings over here which sound like this nice strings over here guys nice strings and what i actually did to my strings guys is that i tripled them as usual by using this high note followed by the c5 note and followed by the lower note over here guys and the reason why i triple them is because of they sound really nice when they're tripled guys let me increase their volume so that we can all hear them clearly guys amazing strings we have over here guys this is how my strings sound like and guys what i actually did to my strings over here is that i lowered their volume so that they cannot overpower other instruments guys because strings tend to overpower some instruments sometimes so i had to lower their volume for that guys for that purpose so i we're gonna move on to our next instrument guys which is the lead an amazing lead over here guys and then let's see how it looks like in the level section this is how it looks like and what i actually did to this nice lead guys is that i layered it this way on the pattern section amazing guys amazing lead we have over here and let me quickly do this to this one and then let's listen to it again nice guys nice lead we have over here i kept things really simple here by using this note and then layering it down with the last bottom note over there guys just like that that's how i made this hot lead here guys nice so moving on to my next instrument i have my saw synth and guys the good news about the saw synth is that you don't have to download it or go somewhere else to find it it's right here in Castic 3 guys how amazing is that so in order to find your saw synth you're gonna click any empty box here and just like that it throws saw synth over here you're gonna click it and what we're gonna do in the saw synth guys is that we're gonna use this broken instrument over here it's called the broken so in order to find it we're gonna click source and over here we're gonna click select preset and we're gonna just scroll down and then there we go guys we have the broken instrument over here guys and this is how my broken instrument sounds like let me play it nice guys the instrument sounds really amazing so this is how it sounds like if i can increase its volume amazing guys so i actually lowered its volume 
because it sounds a lot nicer that way just like that guys just like that and moving on to my next instrument after our first source synth we have our second source synth which sounds like this which this is the normal preset of the source synth guys let me quickly show you guys how to find the normal preset of the source synth you're gonna click a source synth and what you're gonna find is this instrument in the source synth and what you're gonna use guys to make the source synth sound really nice is this r button over here this r knob like we're flying a plane look at that guys so your source synths are gonna start to sound like this if you can increase this knob here and then if you lower it it's gonna shorten your source synth length so we're gonna increase it so that it our length of our sourcing can be a little bit longer so that it can give us that ski just sourcing we always want guys so that's what i actually did to my sourcing hope you guys have learned that amazing tip and trick and i also lowered its volume guys and this is how it all sounds like now nice guys it sounds really amazing nicely done guys that's how my second source sounds really amazing and guys what we have here is another string guys and this is how our string looks like in the level section amazing smooth string over here guys and this is how the string sounds like with the whole beat amazing string we have over here that sounds really nice too it elevates the beat a little bit giving it that nice smooth vibe and guys what i actually did to the string is that i just used the c4 note because this string guys is a special string that doesn't need to be tripled or anything like that guys it's just nice on its own it's just powerful on its own guys so that's it for the string moving on to our next instrument guys we have our amazing ski log drums over here guys and these ski log drums guys sound actually similar to the ski dongle log drums and this is how these ones look like in the level section guys smooth log drums over here guys and this is how i actually played the log drums let's click the grid go to two times grid over here so that we can see everything and what i'm gonna do guys since our log drum is a bass i'm gonna switch off my bass lead so that they cannot collide and this is what we're gonna have amazing guys amazing the log drum sounds smooth nice guys and what i'm actually gonna do now is that i'm gonna lower this source synth volume so that it can actually fit in with the beats nice guys nice everything sounds leveled and awesome right now so what i have next guys is the hype 808 bass and guys what this basically does is that it actually gives my first log drum a boost guys it makes my first log drum hit harder and a lot smoother this time which is gonna sound like this it's gonna have that nice bass texture now it's gonna be like a little bit thicker nice guys nice and what i'm gonna do now is that i'm gonna switch off my source and just like that by clicking m for mute and then this is what we're gonna have guys we're gonna have a smooth beat with only log drums playing that's what we need right now that's what we need and guys moving on to my next instrument over here i have another source synth which is just a normal source synth over here and this is how it sounds like and after this i'm gonna actually show you guys how i did this technique over here where my instruments are a little bit lighter i'm gonna show you guys that later so let me quickly play this 
amazing guys this sounds really smooth over here guys amazing amazing let me increase the volume a little bit nicely done guys our source and our last source and sound really nice and guys let me show you guys on how i did this fading effect over here guys it was quite pretty easy but yet effective when making beats so what you're gonna do is that you're gonna click anywhere let's say i want this instrument over here to fade i'm gonna just put it here and i'm gonna go at the side of the screen i'm gonna see something called the vel meaning velocity i'm gonna grab this i'm gonna drag it down and what is what's gonna happen here is that my the volume of this thing is gonna lower itself like this you won't even hear it but if i can increase the velocity here you're gonna be able to hear it so that's the main objective of this velocity thing that's what it actually does that's its job so what i'm gonna do here is that let's say i want this to fade over here which means it's gonna decrease its volume a little bit so this is what you're gonna do just like that and then nice guys listen to that nicely done guys so that's how you actually fade your instruments and make them sound nice guys hope you guys have learned on how to do the fade which is a quite interesting trick and guys last but not least i have my long mixer reverse over here guys which mixes everything and makes everything sound legitimate so guys what i have here is the long mixer and then this is where it stays it stays over here guys so let me play this section where the long mixer is but before we do that i'm gonna click this so that everything can be unmuted and this is what we're gonna have guys so that we can listen to our long mixer reverse nice guys amazing nicely done guys that's how to make a hot ski jama piano type beat right here on Castic 3 for beginners make sure that you don't forget to leave a like on this video if you really enjoyed today's tutorial and guys make sure that you don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you cannot miss out on any of my hottest upcoming tutorials that i'm gonna be releasing guys because i'm gonna be releasing the best of the best i'm piano tutorials guys peace see you on the next one and enjoy the free project file guys